Good morning, everybody. Welcome to M Nation. I'm Larry Wallace. I'm Stacy Stacey Wallace. <laughs> We're glad that you're joining us today. What does M Nation stand for? Empowering nations through the truth of God's word. Close. Empowering nations with the truth of God's word. You've got to push the start button. She says it way better than I do. No, I. <laughs> We've now begun. Good morning, everybody. We're so excited to be with you this morning. Don't stress the small stuff. We're going to be talking about what happens when you give energy and attention to the things that bring stress and anxiety, pressure into your life. Believe it or not, the tactic of the enemy could very well be just to get you to hold on to the small stuff. Yeah, and get stressed out. You know, so many people... They, they, they make mountains out of molehills, to put it And bluntly. they allow molehills to turn into disease mm -hmm. and sickness. And what you focus on most has an... Eliseo, hola, como estas, mi amigo? <laughs> como estas? I love that. Squirrel. Eliseo. <laughs> well, I get to see who's coming on, but my Puerto Rican friend there. And everybody mm. that's coming on, we welcome you, Joy and Christina and Mylin, all of you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we are going to be talking about stressing the small stuff because I watched a video mm -hmm. this morning and I know last night before we went to bed, we were talking about the Netanyahu win and mm -hmm. we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. And a trending video right now is one that is this video of this girl that gets on this plane mm -hmm. and she's on her phone and she's talking to her mom and her mom is asking her about, did you get something done? And she's like, yeah, 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 I've got eight hours to do it. And then she gets on the phone and the girl's kind of got an attitude. She's got her earphones in really loud and um, kind of gets into her seat, very disruptive. She's just a kind of a, probably about a 19 year old girl and sits down, kind of bumps the people. It's just kind of disrespectful. And then the lady beside her, and it's a long flight, said, um, do you think you could turn your music down just a little bit? I just got away from my kids and I'm trying to take a nap. And the girl like had an attitude and, so the woman on the other side is like texting her husband saying, you take care of the kids, they're your kids too. And it's, um, you can tell there's just stress, mm -hmm. anxiety, little things like where I'm sitting, who I'm sitting with, I'm frustrated because I don't have the right seat and all these different things that are adding up. And ultimately this video is a plane crash. Oh my. Yeah, and the plane goes down. Mm. And so all three of these people who are highlighted on this video, it's basically, showing that are you prepared for the things you're stressing about right now mm. to be the things you stressed about last Wow! with your family with your co-workers with your friends if it ended right now are you happy with the way you left things wow and a lot of times we stress out over the most idiotic things simple you know, who has my hat or who parked the car here or why is this happening like this or who, who changed the channel or all these little simple things mm. that we allow to build up and create stress in our lives. Who, who left the toothpaste out again? <laughs> and why didn't they pick up their socks? And why does the laundry room look like this? And honestly, we uh -oh. allow... That, that one hit close to home. <laughs> we allow stress, it's all of us, we allow stress, or how about when you get up and they didn't put the keys back in the drawer, where are the cars can you get because you're in a rush. Or Okay, she's calling me out on stuff, you guys may not know no, this, I, I'll, I'll just go ahead and admit really, right now. I'm so. really not, I'm thinking about, even this morning Peyton got up and was like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm running late, I'm running late, and I'm thinking, wow, we really allow the enemy mm -hmm. to get into our head. Mm -hmm. create stress and then ultimately create conflict that creates division mm -hmm. and when you think about that and then you think about some of the bigger battles we face in life they're not about you know who didn't pick up their toys or who didn't do this or why aren't they doing this it really comes down to me 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 oh, yeah. why isn't everything going the way i need it to go right. me 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 or how how you have it rehearsed in your head on, on different things and you, and you don't allow God to be able to move things around in order for him to do work within you or through you or even around about you. 
When you allow little things to fester, mm. they can become an abscess. Yeah. And the enemy would love today nothing more than you to be angry at your mom, or you to be angry with your husband, or you to be able to have that angst, that anxiety. Are you angry that, with me about something? I'm not. I think you're sexy and hot. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love the fact that um, we have this precious lady that does our all of our stuff at Texan Credit Union, and she mm -hmm. said, um, I can tell you're older, but you talk like you're young. You must have teenagers. She says, y'all are quirky. <laughs> yes. I love that. She takes care of us there. She does take care of us. And I just want to say that this is a scripture that before we talk about Netanyahu and the wind there, I just mm -hmm. want to say this is that plane video really struck me this morning of how many people, you know, we consult with. Mm -hmm. And when we hear what's blowing up their marriages, when we hear what their last argument with, was with their kids, right. It's tiny, tiny. It is not world trade. Uh, and the grand scheme of things are not that important. And we sweat the small stuff. And then what happens is the enemy knows if I can get you with that, I don't have to worry about you being potent on anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're going to implode. And, and what we want to do, this is the scripture, Philippians 4, 6 says, be anxious about nothing. But in everything, through prayer and supplication, make your requests known before God so that his peace, mm -hmm. which passes all understanding, will guard your heart, your mind, and your spirit. It goes on to say in verse 8, summing it all up, and this is really good. I want you all to take Philippians 4 and maybe just read through it. But verse 8 says, summing it all up, my friends, I'd say you'll do your best by filling your minds and meditating on things that are true, noble, reputable, mm -hmm. authentic, because a lot of times the voices we play in our head are things based on yesterday. They're not real to today. They're based on yesterday. Mm -hmm. So they're not authentic. You're still replaying an argument from yesterday. So it's no longer a reality today. It's only your memory of what happened yesterday. So you are actually, that's actually a sin. You're bringing yesterday into today when God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his, he wants you to be present right now. It goes on to say whatsoever things are true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, mm -hmm. gracious, the best, not the worst. Focus on the best in people, even when they're acting out, <sighs> focus on the best, the beautiful, not the ugly, things that are praiseworthy, not things that should be cursed. Put into practice what you learned from me, he said, what you've heard and what you've seen and realized. Do that, and here's what you get. And God, who makes everything work together, will work you into his most excellent harmony. Mm, that's good. That's I good. love that. I love that translation as well, mm -hmm. because what you think about most, ultimately, you're going to manifest. Mm. And if you're thinking about the stress and the anxiety and the worry and, and the angst and what happened and what they did, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to manifest those emotions. Do you know it's proven now that when we go into movies, mm -hmm. the emotions, this is why we're very alert and aware of what we put ourselves into in mm -hmm. movies, that it is scientifically proven now that the emotions that you watch in a movie that you allow, oh, I want to go watch what it feels, see what it feels like to be in a shootout and, and go through murder, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm that your body does not know the difference between reality and fantasy. Mm -hmm. Cause so, you get stressed out. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've been to movies and it'd be like a, a high impact movie, lots of action happening. And then sure enough, you know, coming out of that movie, movie your adrenaline is going. Which there was a day when we fed on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was our deal. Like mm -hmm. we were born identity junkies. <laughs> And yep. now we just go into it. Doesn't mean that we can't get the same high if we went into it. But now we go into it and going, is this really what God intended for us to use our eyes, our ears? Is this really what's best for us right now? Or are there better things that are good, lovely, noble, reputable, best, not worst, beautiful, not ugly mm -hmm. that we could be doing with our time? And suddenly mm. we end up giving our eyeball attention to fixer upper. Yeah. And what is Fixer Upper taking, doing? Taking it's supporting something. a Christian family. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of a sudden, when you allow your eyes and your emotions and what you focus on, you'll start to see that your money will yield to better things instead of supporting some things that, quite frankly, um, are financially going against your belief system. Yeah. 
They're they're financially building a massive engine against the things you stand for and want for for your family, but we continue to be entertained by those. Yeah. So you know, focusing on on what you want to happen versus what you don't want to happen. You know, this is a good example. There's a guy. So on on Thursdays we have our networking group that I'm a part of that I go to, and there is a, a guy there that um, uh, just recently was fired from his job. But I'm telling you, at least six months over the course of the last six months, every time that he would come, he would talk about, you know, how he didn't like his job and how he was always thinking that he was going to get fired from his job. And I truly feel like he totally manifested um, through his thoughts and through his words that he spoke, him getting fired from his job because what he feared the most came upon him. Yeah, and that was Job, right? Yeah. That was a that yeah. was something that uh, before we even got married, we had this uh, uh, a prophet Tess, a Nigerian lady, who came to me and said, you know, Maria. Larry, yeah, Maria, uh, she said, uh, Larry, there's something that I feel like the Lord's wanting to tell you, and I said, well, what's that? She said, be careful what you fear because it will come upon you, and I will never forget her telling me that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get goosebumps even thinking about it right now, but. My, and, and since since we've since before we got married, I always think about that. You know, I, I'm really careful about what I focus my mind on because I don't want to focus on the negative. I don't want to focus on things that I don't want to happen because because of that. It's a principle. It's not only a scripture, but it's a principle. Just be careful what you focus on because you don't want that to come upon you. Yeah, and the world will call it energy. What do you yield your energy to? Mm -hmm. It will create the energy back to you. Yeah. Scripture says, do unto others, you'll have them do unto you. Given, mm -hmm. it shall be given. I mean, there's a number. I just, all of the things that the world tries to extract God out of, you just go back to Scripture and go, well, that was like 2,000 years ago, over 2,000 years ago. And it says, given, it shall be given. So you give energy to negative things and, and the hurts that are around you, guess what? You're gonna get the same negative energy back to you over and over and over again. And we wanna encourage you, that's why we, we talk about M, M Nation being empowering nations with the truth of God's word. God's word is your greatest escape mechanism mm -hmm. from the stresses of this world. Yeah, you know, I, I think about even uh, scientifically proven uh, US Olympic athletes do this is they'll literally visualize mm -hmm. their competition from start to finish over and over and over again in their mind. And so what happens when you visualize it, no different than going to the movie and, and you're, you're in that experience and you come out and your adrenaline's going, you, di you didn't actually shoot anybody, you didn't actually run through you know, a city trying to escape somebody that's chasing you. None of that happened, but, but because you had that in your mind, you come out of a movie and you have your adrenaline flowing and, you, and you're kind of exhausted from the movie. Well, the same thing with these Olympic athletes, they're visualizing their competition mm -hmm. over and over and over again in their mind. But when it comes time for competition, they've done it so many times. They've won that competition so many times they actually win, right? Yeah, that's really good because I think about uh, Donald Trump. I think about uh, the Clintons. I think about Netanyahu, anybody that's a high level in politics, in ministry, anybody that is is trying to set a new standard, let's yeah. just say that. So it doesn't matter um, whether it was Obama or whether it's Trump or whether it was Carter or whether it was Reagan, yeah. they're going into office, putting their family at risk, yeah. going into office because they believe that they wanna make shift happen yeah. towards their standards, yeah. right? And so it, the same thing is like even with Netanyahu right now, Whenever you decide to set a new standard, you're going to feel like the world is against you. Mm -hmm. The question is, it, number one, you, you go into it knowing you're counting the cost of the war. You go like we this morning, I had a talk with some folks about another book and um, some publicists and that. And so going into that book is going to be going into conversations that mess with people because it talks about food. So we were talking this morning. I was talking with Terry as well, is that when we just have to as families know what we're going into when we start talking about food mm -hmm. and what did Jesus really say about all these diets? What mm -hmm. did Jesus say about the need for collagen and testosterone and all these things? What, what are the biblical standards of nutrition? Well, when you go into that, you got to go, go into it knowing that you're going to mess with some people's money. Mm -hmm. You're going to mess with some people's DNA. You're going to be like, oh, they're going to be like thinking, well, that's not what I've been taught. And that's why the truth of God's word, mm -hmm. not a medical book, 
not a science book, the truth of God's word. A science is only confirming the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's what it's doing. It's confirming the word of God as we move forward. So when you look at it, you just got to know what you're getting into. So Netanyahu, of course, going in for another round. Yeah. So, uh, which was amazing because, and amazing from the fact that it was unprecedented. And, you know, it's a fifth term and I don't believe any, I don't, I don't think that's it's ever happened. It's never happened before. So for him, you know, he, he's gone through a long career in politics, right? And, you know, regardless of what your politics are, it's still amazing to see how he's gone through such opposition. So not only... Not only does he have his own party oppositions from from within inside yeah, the country, mm -hmm. but he also has opposition from other countries that literally surround, surround his him. country. It's like, right? I'm just a little guy in this really big world. I know. Like talk about Gideon, right? Right. I'm the least among them, and God walks up to Gideon. The angel of the Lord says, "Gideon, you mighty man of valor." Right. And so Trump, not that Trump is God in any way, form, or fashion. No. But Trump says, "We're going to declare you." Right. Right? Yeah. Where other people haven't recognized you. We're going to declare you. Yeah. And so, so he's, uh, Netanyahu has gone through many different uh, presidential, uh, U.S. presidential, um, I guess, seasons, if you will, because he's had some presidents that have been for him and he's had some presidents that haven't he been. He just came out of Obama. Yeah. So, like, think about going from that feeling of restriction and, and feeling like the world is against you mm -hmm. to all of a sudden having a, a president that's for you and yeah. you got to make the most while you can right well but but there, there again you know sometimes life doesn't exactly go your way life life uh, uh circumstances may not be ideal for whatever you're trying to accomplish at this point but just wait right yeah. seasons change there may be there may be seasons in life where um that's good it's winter time and it's cold but just know that spring is right around the corner there's some people that are <laughs> in parts of the Midwest right now that are getting snow like, saying, what? hey, where, where's my spring? I was on the phone yesterday talking to a friend up in Wisconsin. Was yeah, it Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, Wisconsin. And I'm like, oh, my word, it's like 82 degrees here. And they're like, it just started snowing. Yeah. So we were talking about that today. So anyways, there's seasons change. Mm -hmm. And so just wait. Don't don't get weary in your well-doing. Right? Don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, because because things will change and stay focused on what you want to happen and don't get don't get distracted on on circumstances around you. Don't get distracted by uh, um, I mean, a, think about it. What, what we get stressed over, you got Netanyahu who wins and yet they're trying to indict him. I like know, they're going yeah, through all this. You talk about stress. Mm -hmm. So always think that's why I always said that Sarah Palin was always really good for me when she was in office. I always look and go, if, if she can handle that, then I can handle this. Right. And I just want to say to you guys, there's always, if you can think of the good, you can handle this. Yeah. You've got this. There's big, huge things taking place in the world and there's big things happening in your life, but count it all joy. God doesn't have you going through what you're going through because he's a naughty God. Mm. He has you going through because he's preparing you for a season. Like Larry said, seasons shift, mm -hmm. seasons change, but it's about to be a new season. It's about to be a new day and you've got to have earnest expectation. That's what hope is. Earnest expectation that something good is about to happen to you. If you look in throughout the Bible, those shifts came. And those shifts, you got seasons of great tragedy. Look at David. Right. David was being pursued by the king. The king of his nation wanted to kill David. He was being pursued. So you talk Imagine about someone... Imagine you're sitting along one day and you are like taking care of sheep one day. And next thing you know, President Trump has all of his lawyers, all of the country, and he's doing research on you to try to take you out. But here's the thing. And Stress. you've already been anointed to become a king. Yes. So you, someone has come to you and said, you're getting ready to be the next president of the United States. It's not going to happen today, but it will happen. And yet the current president of the United States, or I, I don't know, that's a good example, but the current president of that country um, is going to come after you to try to kill you. With swords and spears. <laughs> so, so, and they're going to come really close. And, and surround you. Like he was surrounded in a cave. Like there was no way out of the cave. And David was surrounded. And, and yet he knows that he's been anointed to become king. And yet here the current king is trying to kill him. And so even in the midst of the storm, don't lose hope. Don't put your confidence in your current circumstances. 
put your confidence in the prophetic word over your life mm -hmm. because there's more assurity. That's where that scripture said authentic truth. The authentic truth is not what you're facing right now. It might be a circumstance that you're facing, but like Larry says, this too shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. But your truth is, that's why we say empowering nations with the truth of God's word. It might be a tough season right now. But the truth of God's word says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. He is for you and not against you. He has provided a way out. You are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, more than a conqueror. When you begin to realize that I got the God of the universe, the God that put the sun, the moon, and the stars into place. And because I've chosen not to align with the world, I've chosen to align with him. No matter what my circumstances are right now, I can bank it. I can know it. I can go all chips in on the fact that this is going to work together for my good. Yeah. And, and you may be saying right now, you don't understand my circumstance. It's easy for you to say that from where you're sitting on the other side of that camera. But I'm just telling you is there is a prophetic word that's spoken over your life. There is hope. There is promises that are yours. And if mm -hmm. you don't believe me, just look it up in the Bible. If you say, Larry, you know, nobody's nobody's ever prophesied over me. Yes. God has, Jesus has through the yeah. word of God. And so if you want to know what your promises are, you want to know what, what, um, what, what good you have coming your way, read the Bible, read the promises of God. If you don't say, okay, well, I read the Bible, but I don't know what you're talking about with promises. Google it. Okay. There's, there's a, it'll, people have laid out, theologians have laid out what the promises of God and then, and then read those scriptures. And, and then as you meditate on those, you'll be meditating on goodness That's and good. mercy That's and good. grace and and hope and and prosperity and healing and these are the things that are yours because it's promised right here in the word of god uh james 1 2 says this and this is hopefully you guys can anchor on this today no matter what you're going through consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds no matter what it is that you're going through this word is for you because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. In other words, it strengthens your matzi. Mm -hmm. it, it, it strengthens your armor. It gives you fortitude because you know what? If, if I can make it through that, then I know I can make it through this. Yeah. And if he took me out of that when I should have died, then he's going to get me through this. And if I didn't, if I didn't go without food in that season, then he's going to take me through this season. Consider it pure joy. He said, because when the testing of your faith produces perseverance, let perseverance finish its work. In other words, don't try to come out of the cocoon of preparation before you fully developed what it is God needs you to develop. We're trying to get out of the cocoon because we know we're destined to fly. I'm, I'm built for more than this. I'm not supposed to be this warm. I'm not supposed to be in this dark place. People are supposed to know me. People are supposed to be seeing what we're doing. And yet God is saying, don't you get out of that cocoon too fast. He says, let perseverance finish its work so that you can be fully mature and complete, not lacking anything. Verse five, if any of you does lack wisdom, just ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. But when you ask, here's the key, here's the secret sauce. When you ask of God, you must believe and don't doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from God. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in everything that they do. But believers in humble circumstances rejoice in your high position. He's saying right now, if you're in the down and out, if you're feeling like you're broken, if you're broke, if you're in a place where you life has humbled you like Job and you feel like you've been smashed up against the rocks, he says, believers who have been put in humble circumstances take pride in your high position mm -hmm. because he didn't see things the way the rest of the world sees things. He didn't see your bank account making you worthy. He didn't see your lack of uh, wrinkles making you worthy. He doesn't see what your socioeconomic status is to make you worthy. He looks at your humility and he looks at your willingness to trust him in all things. If you can be like that right. faith without being tossed to and fro, even in your circumstances, God is going to have a plan to put you back on top. That's so good. Shall we pray? Let's don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Seasons change. 
The you Bible is holy deodorant. <laughs> what? Don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Like, I, I just had a visual. Use your Bible as... <laughs> Father, I just thank you, Lord, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I thank you, God, that um, uh, there's people I know that, that will watch this video and they may be going through some of the greatest yeah. trials of their life. And I thank you, Father God, that you just envelop them, um, cover them with your, with your wings, those that shall abide under the um, shadow of the Almighty, Lord. I just thank you, Father God, that right now that they abide under you. And I thank you, God, that you are working all things together for their good. Mm -hmm. I just I remember that phrase, um, when you have a setback, don't take a step back, but get ready for your comeback. And I thank you, God, that, that people are taking this message right now and are preparing their comeback, God, that they, are, that they are remembering to visualize what they want to see so that they can see it in the natural. So it, it may happen in their mind first, but it will happen in the That's natural. Good. And so I thank you, Father God, that... Um, Lord, that no matter what people may be going through, uh, God, that you are with them. God, that you are, you are holding them up in your righteous right hand. And I just thank you, Father God, that your hand of protection is upon them all. Lord, I pray blessings over every, everyone that's watching this video, listening to our podcast. And I thank you, Father God, that you're meeting their needs according to your riches and glory. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Be sure and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, if you're not, if you're watching this on Facebook, we load all of these up onto our new YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash EM Nation TV. Mm -hmm. And we do that so that you can go back and you can binge watch, binge watch all of these different topics and just be an encouragement to you. But when you go there, make sure you push the little bell because the bell actually eventually we're going to pop off of doing everything on Facebook and we'll be putting them onto that TV uh, M Nation TV so that you can, the bell actually alerts, alerts you, you just like Facebook mm -hmm. Live does of when we go live. So make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. Uh, also, we want to encourage you that uh, if you are out ministering and witnessing and talking to people and being the church, uh, we want to encourage you that we've got Mission Possible available over on our website. Uh, you can go to stacywallace.com. We are utilizing these as the follow-up to help people who don't know Christ get to know Him, know what it is to know God's voice. Um, if you want to buy those in bulk, obviously we are our heart is to get them into the hands of as many people as possible. So we're going to do whatever we can do to help you uh, do that. But we love you guys. Have a great day today. Make sure you like, subscribe, send me a note. I always get off of these and I go on and I answer them personally. And I love having the chats with you guys. So yeah. have a great day. Private messages if you need prayer. We will definitely reach out to you and make sure that you get the prayer that you need. And honestly, there's people probably around you that don't have access to this video. And if you feel like it's going to be an encouragement to them, feel free to share it with them. Um, I, I feel like it'll be a blessing to them and it'll be a blessing to you as if well. If they need Holy Spirit deodorant today, <laughs> this is the video. Have a great day, everybody. Love you. <laughs>